Earlier this week, an Arab American Muslim won Miss USA beauty pageant. Since then, there has been some controversy about her character, background, and why she won. Some have accused her of being a terrorist sympathizer, and some have said that she is not a good practicing Muslim. She is an Arab American from a Muslim background, and she is going to represent this community whether we like it or not. Today, we can discuss this issue with members of our Muslim and Arab community to see what their reaction is. Today, we have three panelists to discuss this issue. With us, Professor Abdullah Gallab from Arizona State University, Religious Studies. Lina Arkawi, an activist among the Arab American community. And Hanan Atiyah, an editor with Muslim Voice newspaper. So does the winning of Rima Faki of Miss USA pageant have any implications on Muslim and Arab community in the US? Yes, of course, uh, it will have implications on our community and in the uh, uh, American community at large. One of my students, he asked me two days after uh, Rima Faki won the contest whether she was uh, a Shia. And I uh, said, from where did you get that? He said, uh, one of the radio uh, talk branded her as Miss Hezbollah. When I looked at that seriously, I found that there are others, not only um, this uh, talk show uh, lady, but there are others, uh, for example, like uh, uh, Daniel Pipes. Uh, on the other side, of course, there are some people who are pushing back uh, against the uh, hegemonic um, uh, beauty ideal, or hegemonic white beauty ideal, and um, they see that in that some kind of a new, uh, uh, some sort of representation to the diversity of the uh, American society and how the one-dimensional uh, idea of, uh, of, of beauty is no, no, no longer uh, uh, the, the, the only one. Uh, we live in a very diverse uh, society, and that is a representation of that. The other thing is some kind of a push against also the one-dimensional image of the Muslim person or the Muslim woman. Uh, the Muslim person who is also uh, represented within TV and the media as a terrorist, and the Muslim woman who is represented in the media as uh, somebody who always veiled and with burqa and with uh, different types of veil. Uh, it, it, at least it humanizes the Muslim uh, person and the Arab person, and it sends some kind of a message that we are different and we represent all different forms of, uh, of, of, of human beings and also we have also uh, our different uh, choices. Lina, uh, Rima Fakir today is Miss USA. How do you think this is going to affect your life as a young Arab American activist? I think it's going to change in the sense that she has pushed a, a barrier for all Arab Muslim women. Um, she has broke a mold she has broke many stereotypes in the U.S. media, so I think she has even she's almost pushed an agenda to say that anything is possible for multicultural women everywhere. That the USA is not only just for blonde hair, blue eyed girls. We're we are a rich culture, um, both in my American community and my Arab Muslim community, um, and I think that's a great thing, and I think it will definitely. Um, have positive implications for, for our community. Hanan, you're yeah. an editor of Muslim Voice newspaper here in Phoenix. Yes. How do you think this win would affect the Muslim community locally or nationally? Well, I have to reiterate uh, Bina's point that uh, being chosen as the USA uh, pageant uh, Rima has opened up um, doors to our community in terms of anything is possible in terms of that because you're Muslim or because you're Arab does it mean that there there isn't a chance for you to, to, to attain whatever you wish to attain the other point I want to make is um, the fact is uh, at the end of her term if Rima will uh, choose to use her Arab or her Muslim background 
and the fact that uh, she is Miss USA, I feel that she has opened so many doors that can be attained to our uh, young women or any, any, anyone for that matter in our community. Well, I would like to add to what Hanan has said, that now um, uh, Rima is an, a mobilizing agent. So uh, she belongs to a minority, but at the same time now she belongs to an elite group. Uh, within that elite group, she can use her agency to be the voice of uh, her community, or the Muslim community, or the uh, Arab community. The way that she's going to do that, and the way that it's going to be received, will either enforce or otherwise maybe affect negatively uh, the, the, uh, the image of this community. I agree. Well, Dr. Gillette, since you mentioned the, uh, the image of our community, uh, let's go back to uh, on campus, your students. Uh, are you going to use this as part of your educational uh, uh, principles when you talk about the Middle East or religious studies with your students? Well, yes, uh, we have, uh, I, uh, I've been teaching for maybe the second uh, semester a course about Islam in the United States. And Islam in the United States, it has its own characteristics, it has its history, and it's very diverse because we have a very diverse Muslim community. And within that Muslim community, we have the Arabs, we have the Pakistanis, we have the African Americans, and we have uh, uh, other different, different groups who either came to the United States uh, uh, as Muslims or they converted to Islam here. So within those groups, you have people like uh, Rima, uh, or you, uh, this diversity, I think it reflects, or it shows that this invisible community is, not, is no longer invisible now because you have some people like Rima, for example, is um, uh, presented within the entire United States or within the globe itself, within the, the entire globe. Uh, so here, also, the mobilizing agent will play a very important role because also they are, they are going to look at her for, from a very critical uh, viewpoint. Uh, I think um, we need also to emphasize that, okay, she didn't run this election, this uh, contest as a Muslim or as an act. She ran that as a human being who happened to be an American, an Arab, and a Muslim. Back to you, Nina. Mm -hmm. uh, you attended this pageant. You were there uh, in support of Miss Arizona. Mm -hmm. And you witnessed this historic event yourself. You're probably one of the very few Arab Americans who had this opportunity. How did you feel being there? What went through your mind? Well, seeing Rima Fiki won was definitely an excitement for my cousin and I. Uh, we. We, we definitely celebrated, uh, it was a very joyous moment because we were, you know, she, she represents a part of us because she's Arab and she's Muslim, so it was almost like we won, you know. Um, I was upset in the beginning because my friend didn't make top 15 as we hoped, um, and I, I did want Miss Arizona to win.